Hello, my name is Subject, and this is gonna be my first analytical video on Cuphead. I have never done anything like this before, but I hope to continue making similar videos in the future. To start off, I'd like to talk a little bit about the game itself and my experience with it. The game, overall, is an absolute joy to play all the way throughout. There's so much charm and heart behind the game and its development team it, that it's hard to hate the game. Although sometimes I have found myself to despise this game because of its intense difficulty. It's not a game that cannot be beaten, it's just one that takes a lot of work and mental fortitude since this game is such an ass. But the art style is so captivating that you just get drawn into the experience. All the work from Studio MDHR clearly shows in how flawlessly Cuphead runs. If you have the game on the PC and have a really bad computer, even then you most likely will be able to run the game. Now more on the topic of the gameplay itself, Cuphead is a boss rush type game with run and gun levels sprinkled throughout. The game is majorly dominated by bosses having around 5 each area. Every boss has its own gimmick and mechanic that you have to learn in order to beat it, and they all have varying levels of difficulty. They are all very well thought out and require a lot of practice in order to beat them. Now more on the topic of the run and gun levels, although I still enjoy them to a certain extent, I believe they are the weakest part of the game because the bosses are just that good. They have fun parts sprinkled throughout, but I found myself annoyed the most during these sequences. But other great things about the game, other than the actual gameplay, are some things like the UI and the main hub world. The main hub world is very, very detailed with little secrets sprinkled throughout which can help you along your journey. And a lot of the UI is very stylized and fits with the game's art style. Although I could talk a lot more about the gameplay of Cuphead, I'm going to switch topics to the company, Studio MDHR, and how they made the game. The idea for Cuphead was originally thought up by brothers Chad and Jared Moldenhauer, but the team which led Cuphead to being a finished product was a lot larger than just the two. Some of the team members were family members that also wanted to help out with the project once it really started moving. There were a variety of roles that everyone took in the creation of the game. The finished product of Cuphead was definitely a team effort and required a lot of hard work and dedication over a long period of time in order to create the amazing game that it is. The idea for Cuphead all started on a dream that the brothers had since they were kids. They are both working day jobs but they started to work on the game in their free time. Spending money they could on the game, but not doing it as a full-time job until later when they felt more inspired, they remortgaged their houses just so they can get money to make the game. Then they started making the game full-time. The size of the game only continued to grow since the reception from the trailers was very positive. Then in 2015, after E3, they decided to really go all in with the development of the game, making it into the game they exactly wanted it to be. The creation of Cuphead was a long but well worth fight in order to create a masterpiece of a game that will affect the gaming community for a very long time. Now to delve more into the creation and release of Cuphead, the original trailer for Cuphead was uploaded to YouTube on October 25th 2013. The game was released on September 29th, 2017. It was a long and strenuous development, but well worth it in the end. Almost all of Cuphead's visuals and sound were developed in the way they would be if it were created in the 1930s. Cuphead's animations are hand-drawn and the backgrounds are all watercolor images as an example of an old technique. In the fiery frolic boss fight in the second area of the game, they took a 3D model of a castle and spun around it to emulate movement in the boss fight. As I said, Cuphead was developed in the way they thought it would be developed in the 1930s, except for the coloring of the characters. They chose to do it all digitally, which took off years of development. To once again talk about the art style of the game, the game's art style is very, very well done and holds true to the past animations of the 1930s, but the effort that took to get the final product was insane. To make one boss, they'd have to draw hundreds and hundreds of different versions and ink and color them and then digitally mask them and put them in game just for one boss. 
Although the art style of Cuphead is its main drawing factor, another big reason for its popularity is its variety of references and influences sprinkled throughout the game. Cuphead takes from a lot of games like Contra, Gunstar Heroes, and Super Mario World, and even has a reference to Canon Ryu from Street Fighter, which can be seen in the designs, movements, and attacks of the Ribby and Croak's boss fight. But of course, the main thing that inspired Cuphead and the reason why the game is so loved is its 1930s based animation. There are a large sum of references and influences to old shorts of the 1920s to 1930s, and the most prominent one is Swing You Sinners, created in the 1930s. Some of the bosses that reference and are influenced by this specific short are Cagney Carnation, Baroness von Bonbon, Phantom Express, and many more. And to quickly name some other things Cuphead references, The Cookie Carnival 1936, Popeye the Sailor meets Sinbad the Sailor 1936, More Timer Mouse 1936, Tom and Jerry Shorts 1940, Betty Boop 1930, the Iron Giant, 1999, Woody Woodpecker, 1940, Mickey Mouse and Oswald, 1928 and 1927, and etc. But I have only named some of the influences of Cuphead since Chad and Jared did a lot of research into multiple areas of media to figure out what they wanted to do with their game. The insane success of Cuphead has allowed Studio MDHR to continue to make games like Chad and Jared have always wanted to. There is now a new DLC pack coming for Cuphead in 2020 called The Delicious Last Course. There is also a Netflix original show in the making called The Cuphead Show. As of now, Cuphead has gone triple platinum, selling over 3 million copies and well on its way to 4 million, which shows just how much people love this game and how much more people want of it. I hope Studio MDHR will continue to make games because this game is an unforgettable experience that will be remembered in the gaming community forever. I hope you enjoyed this video on Cuphead. It was very rough and is my first video like this, but I hope to continue to make similar videos in the future. If you have any constructive criticism to give me, please do, because this video is garbage. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys, hopefully next time.